hello and welcome back so now in this video we will add the animations to our drone so for that in the animations right here we need to create another animator controller let's name this as enemy drone let's click on the drone and let's assign this animator right there okay so now we have the enemy drone assigned if you click on the animator tab as you can see right here we have a empty animator controller for this drone let's move this any straight there the exact there and let's move the entry right here okay we want this animator to be clean so we need uh, four animations for this drone so if you click on PVR military pack. Let's click on PVR drone. Let's go inside the animation and we need the flight front. So let's search for that okay. right here. We have the flight front. So if he's moving towards the warp point, it will play this animation. So simply try and drop that in there. After this, we need the run. Where is the run? Okay, we need the dead one as well. So, move the dead animation there. And let's add this uh, flight front again and this time we need this to run okay the motion will be the flight, uh, flight front but the name will be changed to run and after this for the firing we need the gun fire up down so let me search for it okay this is right here we have the gun fire up down you can also add different animation for example this one okay but for now we will just add this one so drag and drop that in there so we have now the animations now let's create the parameters for this so let's create the walk or actually you can name this as uh, flight if you want but let's just stick with the walk let's change this one to aim run let's add another one and change the name to bool from bool to shoot okay and then let's add another bool and let's name this as die now make a transition from the flight front to the run from the run to flight make a transition from run to fire up down and from fire up down to the run make a transition from the flight front to dead then from the run to dead and from the gun fire up down to the dead okay let me select all of these transitions and remove this as exact time zero now only select the transition which is from the flight front to the run and right here make the walk false and make the aim run true so if he is walking towards the walk point and then if he side appear he will just simply play that animation that if the drone is moving forwards okay now if we click on that other transition okay remove the as is at time zero I don't know why it is still right there maybe what happened okay remove it as exact time zero then simply make the walk through and make the aim run false okay now click on this transition which is from the run to the gun fire down remove that and right here make the shoot to true then make the walk false and Make the aim run false as well. Now click on the other transition, which is from the gun fire up down to run. Remove this, and right here we will do the vice versa of the other one. We will make the shoot false, 
make the walk false and just make the angle true now let's click on this transition remove that and right here we will simply make the walk false and the dial true let's click on this one now which is from v1 to dead and actually we want the as exact time right here because we want the run animation to be finished and then the drone will fall okay let me clear all of that out of it now right here we will make the type true and the and run false now let's click on this transition and right here make the shoot false and the type true let me remove that we have assigned all of the parameters to the transition now we need to add the animations so open up the enemy drone script let's move up right here we have the animation so we can actually assign the animator to that and I think yep, it is assigned already. Now what we need to do, we need to double click on it. Right here, click on control and the slash sign. And right here, if you are pursuing the player, we want the walk to be false, the aim run to be true, the shoot to be false and the die to be false as well. Okay, and this is basically these parameters the enemy drone okay walk in run shoot die walk in run shoot and die okay so right here in the pursue make the end run only true okay now let's remove the comment from this one as well and if you are not pursuing it means that the drone is dead or destroyed so make the die true make the other one false after this let's scroll down right here if the drone is shooting then we want the shoot to be true the walk and other things to be false and the same for the not the same right here it is different right here we just make the type true and all of the other thing false okay so actually you need to remove the comments from the animations and once that is done save the script get back to unity and once the script is reloaded click on the animator click on this double click on this flight front make it a loop time click apply make the run as well loop time and this gun fire up down to loop time okay because we want this animation to be played again and again and we can leave the dead as it is okay now everything is assigned let me move this player somewhere right there okay so we can just simply run towards the drone quickly if you play the game now as you can see the drone is playing animations as you can see he is moving let me get closer to the drone as you can see it is playing the animations and as you can see it is playing the fire up and down and shooting play now the player is dead and as you can see the animation is being played now let's kill or we can say destroy this drone let me lock the cursor now let's shoot the drone okay and actually we can't destroy the drone because we need to add that code so if you open up the enemy drone as you can see we have all of the function already set up we have the enemy drone head damage okay you can actually change this to enemy head damage or enemy drone head damage okay first of all let me open up the rifle script and on the rifle script when we are shooting okay 
right here we need to make a reference for the drone as well so we will say enemy drone let's name this as enemy drone as well so you will say hit dot transform dot get component this is basically the same thing which we did for the others as well so I don't need to explain this again and again okay so we have if we uh, hit the enemy drone then we want to destroy the drone let's change this to enemy drone like that okay so right here let's say else if we hit the enemy drone then what we want to do we want to do the same as we did for the objects or for the enemy so simply copy that paste it down below change this to enemy drone dot enemy hit damage actually on the enemy drone script if you scroll down let's change this to enemy drone hit damage okay save that come right here now change it to the enemy drone hit damage then we will give the damage of what we are giving to the enemy or to the object and right here we don't want to play the core effect or you can say the blood effect let me open up the unity again okay, all of that happen now if you click on preview we don't want to play this effect okay we want to play this drone effect which is this uh, spark okay because this drone is made up of metal of course so this effect suits it the most so if you scroll up right here after this core effect let me simply copy that paste it down below and change this to drone effect now scroll down right here if we hit the drone then we want to play the drone effect and we want to play that just for one second or let's just leave it as two seconds okay save the script now get back to the unity now we have the drone right here we have the animations everything added now let's click on it here let's go and check the body click on this drone gun mesh right here we need to draw out the drone effect so just drag and drop it now if we play the game now we will be able to uh, you can say destroy the drone but first let me tell you the effect okay you can see the spark effect let the enemy drone come to us as you can see the spark effect now the enemy is down the enemy drone actually and now he is being destroyed and let me show you guys the drone effect from a close position because we didn't saw the effect really good okay so if you come right here now as you can see you can see the effect when we hit the drone okay the drone kill us okay so now that you know that the animation works and our drone is now fully functional and if you guys having any problem or any question or suggestion please let me know now our drone is 90 percent completed and the remaining is the muzzle spark or you can say the muzzle flash so with this done in the next video we will do that so catch you guys in the next video